I think the important part of this day is producers get together before we go into harvest so they learn the trends throughout the industry, see how they can connect and grow with each other and then also it's a good opportunity for service providers to speak to those producers and say how they can add value to their business. So the wine industry is very much within the agri industry the start of the net bank story in the agri industry. So NetBank has a long history with the Western Cape and the wine industry and the other provinces in terms of the wine industry. That's really where we started to settle and strengthen our brand within the agri industry. And with that long history and the support that we had from the wine industry, we were able to build our brand and expand our service offering and our value to the rest of the agri industry now across the country. I think that we're sitting in a different, a difficult position at the moment. Producers are struggling to uh, get their, their crops uh, uh, watered, uh, their vineyards watered. Um, they've made plans to get uh, turbines in, generators in, uh, trying to manage and, and uh, the, the power shortages, the load shedding. But I think it's time that the government plays open cards with it. I think they must stop the they're uh, deferring the issues and, and all that stuff and, and be honest with us and say well, how we are planning the, first, the next six months because producers aren't sure what's going to happen. Do they, do they go and do they change their whole system, their whole management system to include big generators, new diesel pumps? Um, what is the future for us? I think exciting industry level that we're looking at a consolidation of existing services into SA Wine. I think that is a word that we will hear a lot of this year. Um, so announcement today, it's still populating and probably will have a launch towards mid-year. Mid but then also the positives. We uh, operate in very difficult, uncertain times, but there are such a lot of positive building blocks and therefore the theme. Let's connect all of that and let's grow and let's collaborate. The positive developments are that we are starting to see the government implementing measures to address uh, the power shortages and also uh, the infrastructure in, uh, inefficiencies. Uh, last year we saw in July uh, the cap on embedded generation being done away with so companies can invest on power generation of more than 100 megawatts and uh, also under Operation Volintela, government is implementing measures to address, uh, for instance, uh, the inefficiencies in water supply and also other infrastructure. So it's really important, South Africa is the eighth largest market for um, South Africa, the UK, and shoppers in the UK recognize South Africa as an amazing brand. You get value and you also get great quality at the top end. Today my talk is about um, progress, partnership in particular, and all the possibilities that are out there for all the growers, I hope, in the hall. It's an exciting time for South Africa in the UK, and the brand South Africa has never been stronger. Having been out of the market for a good you know, two and a half years, and, and last year was the first year we could start doing some work in market, but a lot of that focus was on Cape Wine. So 2023 is going to be the first sort of normal year that we can activate in markets. We need to work together because we have to increase the profitability for everyone in the value chain in our industry, be it from a brand perspective, a customer, as well as the distributors. And we need to help and enhance creativity in the industry. And I think the most important is that we need to start limiting the cannibalization of our, of our category. So there is still a category and everybody is successful in the next couple of years.